Hey everybody, this is Ebony and welcome back to my channel, Everything Eb. Um, hey guys, I'm excited. Today is Friday, February the 26th and that means I am officially three weeks post-op. Yes, yes, I am three weeks post gastric bypass surgery. I did have the RUNY slash RNY slash gastric bypass surgery on Friday, February the 5th. So like I said, today I am three weeks post-op and that's what today's video will be about. So if you are interested in what's been going on with me this past week, then let's get into it. All right, guys. So um, not a lot has gone on this week. You know, last time I had told you guys I had to go get IV fluids and everything. Um, since then, I've been doing okay. I feel like I have been getting in enough fluids. I don't know. Um, I don't have that feeling that I had before. I also told you guys that my surgeon suggested that I do the Flintstone Complete Vitamins. Y'all, those things have saved my life. Now, they're not good, you know, but they're not nasty. They're not as chalky as I expected. I mean, when you first put them in your mouth, they taste good, you know, but then when you chew them up, it's like, okay, yeah, that's a vitamin, but I can totally handle it. I've been doing that. I've been doing, um, I've been doing good, I think, with that. And I have actually been able to get in one protein shake per day, which is half of what I need at least, which is halfway more than I was getting before because I was getting zero. So, um, I think I'm doing pretty good this week. I was doing good, um... A little fatigue still, but you know, just trying to still focus on getting my liquids in. I did have an appointment with my primary doctor today. It all went well. He was so, so, so very proud of me, which made me feel better because, y'all, this week I can officially say I did hit the dreaded three week stall. I've watched a million videos about weight loss surgery vsg gastric bypass whatever and a lot of people say they had a three-week stall apparently it's a thing but you know you hear about it you don't really think it's gonna happen to you but it did so i was a little discouraged i had weighed myself before when i woke up in the morning because i knew by the time i went to my appointment i would have been drinking water and things like that by then Y'all, it's always something going on with me when I turn this camera on. My nose is itching, so forgive me. But yeah, y'all, so I had weighed myself. And okay, so let me just get into it because it's no big hoopla this week. But I'm trying not to be so down about it. But anyway, um, highest weight, well, I'm, I'm 5'1". Highest weight was 324 pounds. Weight the day of surgery because, like I said, I don't think they weighed me, but their recorded weight for me day of surgery was 278. Um, last week I told you guys I was 258. This week I am 257, so I've only lost one pound. One pound. Um, all I can say is I'm keep doing what I'm doing. Um, I do need to get moving though. Um, my doctor did tell me that I need to go ahead and get to walking and maybe lifting some light weights, no more than like five pounds, you know, not going crazy with it, but trying to lift a little bit and then really walking. And he said that will really help with the loose skin. Um, and I didn't even ask about it. He just brought it up. So I know I need to get moving. So I have been kind of going places. And so I haven't just been like posted up on this couch like I look like I have, <laughs> but, um, I haven't been going like to pur purposefully get any exercise in. So I do need to start on that. I know, but anyway, yeah, yeah. I only lost one pound this week. I was like, what in the world? What in the world? But my doctor was like, that's common. You know, your body is freaking out. Like, Hey, what's going on? Something's up. Let's just hold on to everything until we get this figured out. 
and then it'll start releasing again so hopefully it's only gonna be this one week i ain't listen y'all i know it's not all about the scale but come on now you know those of us that go through something so drastic we want to see the weight loss on the scale so i'm just hoping that it picks back up but anyway um i've still really kind of been on liquids this week um I did try a little bit of baked potato with sour cream and cheese. That is on my list of purees, even though technically that's not puree, but I just chew like crazy. Um, but it really wasn't even much to talk about. It was, if you add up all the little tiny forks I put in my mouth, it may have been one fork full. I don't know. I didn't get a full feeling, but I'll be honest, I'm kind of scared to eat until I get there because I don't want to go too far. Um, but that's pretty much the only thing I really tried this week. And that is because I'm about to get into the issue I had this week, y'all. I told you last week I wasn't on Easy Street no more. So this part of the video, I'm going to give a disclaimer now. I'm going to try to be as PC as I can, but this is real. Y'all know I'm real, and I'm going to tell you what happened this week to me. Um, if you have a weak stomach or you don't like people talking about um, bodily, you know, I don't know, bodily functions or whatever, then I'm going to say, go ahead and click off the video. Now, of course, I want you to stay with me and listen. I'm not going to be vulgar about it, but I'm just keeping it real. And hopefully my experience can help somebody else. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So Tuesday is the day I tried the baked potato. Now, I don't know if one thing has anything to do with the other. According to my doctor, it does not. But mentally i just haven't tried anything else but anyway i had that tuesday sort of night you know and um everything was fine like i said i didn't eat till i felt any full feeling i don't know if i would have or what but i didn't want to overdo it wednesday i get up i had some errands to run i ran some errands i feel like i felt okay when I can't, no, you know what? I'm lying. Before I left, I was telling my son, my stomach hurt. It feel like I got to use the bathroom, but I didn't have to use the bathroom, so I didn't think about it. Now, keep in mind, um, I am supposed to be on stool softeners, but I haven't had any issues going, so I haven't been taking them. But anyway, so Wednesday goes on and on, and my stomach is hurting worse and worse and worse. At this point, I realize, I mean, it is to the point where every time I go to the bathroom, my body is trying to release this thing that does not want to come. It does not want to come. I am suffering by the time Wednesday evening comes. There's like no hope in getting this thing out. So I messaged my doctor. I'm like, my surgeon's office. I'm like, can I take magnesium citrate? So I had already taken... Not beforehand, but once it started, sorry about the shaking. Y'all know I be hitting the table. I was like, let me just take some Miralax. But then I read and it said Miralax can take like one to three days to really take it to effect. I'm like, okay, that's not going to help. I need some release now. So I had some magnesium citrate. I drank it all, so I threw the bottle away. But if you know about magnesium citrate, if you know, you know. It ain't no joke. So I messaged my surgeon's office and I'm like, can I drink that? Is that okay? She called me back. She was like, yes, that's fine. If you do not go, let me know. I drink the magnesium citrate. Listen, y'all, this is the craziest thing ever. I didn't even know your body can do it. But now, all Wednesday night, all overnight, I have the runs. The magnesium citrate, that's what it does. But guess what? It's still summing up in there. They won't come out at the same time as having the runs. I was, I, that just baffled me. I'm like, I didn't know you can be constipated and running off at the same time. How does that even work out of the same place, if you know what I'm saying? It's possible, let me just say. 
So every time I went, my body wanted to get this thing out. Y'all know our bodies like that, but it would not come. Oh Lord, I've done everything now. So overnight, now it's Thursday. The running off stopped, thank the Lord, but I still have that up in there that won't come out. So my stomach is still hurt. I'm scared to go to the bathroom at all because you know, even if you try to just do number one, if you, your body know you need to do number two, it's going to attempt that. And at this point, I'm hurting and everything. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So um, Thursday, my mother bring me some enemas. I'm telling my son, you know, get he works at a grocery store. So I'm like, bring home some some prune juice, some apple juice. At this point, I am willing to try anything. So I do an enema, it don't work. I'm like, okay, maybe it's gonna take two. Maybe I didn't do it right, I don't know. I do enema number two, it don't work. At this point, I'm like, you know what? I don't care if I gotta go to the hospital and they got to dig it out. I can't, I can't. So the only reason I didn't reach out to my doctor or surgeon or anything on Thursday is because I had an appointment today with my primary care doctor anyway. So I was going to discuss it with him and see what he says. I don't know if they can do something in his office or if he want me to go to the hospital or what. So I get up this morning and I'm getting ready to, you know, get myself together to go to the doctor. And I go to the bathroom, you know, just for number one. Because at this point, I've mastered how to try to get number one without even you know, trying to get that number two out. So, and I hope y'all understanding me. I'm just trying not to be too gross, you know, for the people that just don't like that. Um, but right before I was going to get up, I was like, you know what? Let me just see. Y'all. It came out. Baby, when I tell y'all I wanted to cry, I was like, thank you, Lord. Because that was going to be an awkward doctor's appointment if they had to go up in there and get that. But I did not care. But I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. So I don't know what it was all together somehow. And it was still a struggle, but baby, it came out. When I said I felt like a new woman i'm like you know what i still discussed it with my doctor and like i said he don't think it was the fact that i tried to eat um it's just he said now you know you get those vitamins in and they do cause you to be constipated especially when you're not really doing anything else you can't really have fiber right now because fiber slows down your body's healing process so that's what that was so he was like Take Miralax every day, whether you think you need it or not. Take Miralax every day. And then get back on that stool softener. Because um, you might not need it for a, a couple days or a week or whatever. But you, this could happen again. I said, no, it will not. No, it will not. No, it will not. As y'all can see, I got the Miralax sitting right here by me. I done took my stool softener one for the day, and I'm finna go take another one because I think it's twice a day. That was hell, y'all. That was crazy. That was crazy. I was on the phone with my mama like, Mama, like, this ain't right. This ain't right. But, so that's, that's what happened this week. But it came out today, thank the Lord. But... Yeah, I only lost one pound, so I didn't hit the dreaded three-week stall. I don't know what else to tell y'all. That's pretty much all that happened this week. Um, I was going to try to eat something today. I went to the grocery store and got some eggs just because it's been a while. I have some in there, but with eggs, it's funny. I never know when they're good and when... So, I don't know. I just threw the old eggs away and I bought some new eggs. I was like, maybe I can eat a, a real soft scrambled egg. Um, even though technically that's on my soft food phase. But it to me, if a baked potato is on puree, why wouldn't a soft egg? But anyway, um, I don't know what else to tell y'all. Except I only lost one pound this week. 
um, and I am going to get started with moving. That I am going to do. I really, really, really want to work this tool. Um, and I got it. And, and this is what I want to say really quick. So what's crazy about it is mentally, I still have that. I want this. I want that. Oh, when I can eat again, I'm going to get this. I don't care if I can only eat a bite. Eventually, I just want to get a bite of this and that. So, um, and even now, I'm like, I just want to try some mashed potatoes. I'm totally just making something up. But when it comes to it, it's like, um, my mind won't let me. You know what I mean? My mind just doesn't want to let me. So... It's very, it's very, very, very strange. Um, but I'm praying for this whole process. I'm praying for my mind because I don't want to get, um, I don't want to be mentally too scared to, to eat. You know what I mean? Um, but for right now, I just feel better staying with the liquids. As much as I want to eat something, um, when it comes down to it, I guess I really don't. My mind won't let me. It's almost like I don't want to hurt anything. I don't want to mess anything up. I don't want to not lose any weight. So, it's a little bit of a struggle, but I'm figuring it out and I'm working on it. So, next week will be one month. I'll have a one month uh, update for you all on well, I don't know. It's really weird because it technically would be next Friday, but then it would be March the 5th, which might be next Friday. So I don't know about that. It probably is now that I think about it. Yeah, because my best friend's birthday is the 6th and it's a Saturday. So yeah, that that works out perfectly. Um, yeah, so I'll have a one month update for you all. I'm also going to do a video about my surgery day experience or my whole surgery experience the hospital stay and all of that and let you all know what happened with that. Um, I'll do that soon as well. It may be with or around the one month. It may be sooner. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I won't make this video too long because not much really has happened besides that. And um, I appreciate everybody who is watching and who is subscribed. I hope you all are doing well. I do wish you all the very best and I, like i said i love and appreciate the support and i will see you all next week in my one month update video bye